Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. You know, probably some of you are out of college or university or you've been a blue collar worker for most of your life and now you want a transformation and you want to start a career as a white collar in an office environment. So most of us have encountered those uh, job requirements in the job ads. That say IT skill requirements, Microsoft Office and, um, and similar skills. So some of you may wonder, what exactly do I need to know or what skills do I need to possess in order to meet those requirements? And today I will talk about those. So basically when we talk about um, the IT skills, well I wouldn't call it IT because IT can mean anything and normally when we talk about IT it's information technology. So it can be software development, it can be um, data analysis and a lot of other sophisticated matters. The basic computer skills expected from any office worker, be it an administrator, a planner, a logistics coordinator, whatever, are the main Microsoft Office tools. And let me break it down for you and I think the ones that I will now uh, be talking about are really, really useful. So having a grasp of these tools will help you not only to start your career but also at all steps of your career that will help you organize your day, fulfill your tasks much easier and it, they will also set a good basis for learning other systems and tools. So the first one would be Microsoft Excel. Now, Microsoft Excel is basically a tool that helps you create different spreadsheets. However, uh, the, the, uh, the software has developed over the course of its existence uh, just drastically. Nowadays, you can do a lot of things in Excel and this is not just for creating spreadsheets and keeping lists or doing basic calculations. You can use Excel for analysis, you can use Excel for accounting, you can start from very basic accounting up, up to quite sophisticated financial reporting and analysis. And even if you are not working with, uh, with accounting, you can still use it for reporting, for keeping track of your, of your data. You can create really good handy lists where you can easily navigate, filter and find things. And Excel is used in the business very, very widely. So any business from small to the largest, even the, even the largest corporation you might walk in there, you will find that Excel is being used at all steps. You can use Excel, as I said, for analysis. You can create really good graphics, bar charts, line charts, and you can, you can simply use Excel as a database. So, and um, Excel goes a long way. It comes with the macros, and, and uh, you'll also find that the uh, user interface of Excel uh, has been inherited by many other tools out there. So I'm not talking about Microsoft tools, but other software um, doing similar things. So having a good grasp of Excel will help you at all steps of your career, and it will make it easier to uh, learn other uh, similar software tools. The second one would be the PowerPoint. Well, you've probably heard about PowerPoint which helps you create slidebacks. Now, PowerPoint is a really powerful tool for any kind of presentations. If you want to pitch an idea, if you are facilitating a meeting and you are driving decision-making process, I have personally used PowerPoint for even creating some kind of graphical content, graphical images. So I'm not good in tools like CorelDRAW, or, but I needed some basic, very simple uh, graphical images that, uh, for my own personal use, for business cases. I have used PowerPoint on that one too. Other thing that PowerPoint actually allows you, especially with some add-ins, is recording your screen. So you can actually create really good tutorials or uh, other material using the PowerPoint. So I, I can tell you that PowerPoint will boost your capacity uh, again for making really good, really interesting and um, really catchy uh, presentations. It will help you pitch your own ideas or if you're, in, 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 you're working for a company or organization, it will help you present your material. 
it will make it especially for the executive management who are not very interested in minor details but they want to see an overall picture of what you're trying to present in order to make decisions PowerPoint will serve you the best in this matter you can use your Excel graphs and charts and you can bring those data even even the spreadsheets even the tables you can bring them to PowerPoint and use some transitions and animations in order to make it appealing visually appealing and easy to comprehend and whoever you're uh, presenting it to I think it will create a really good image of your material first of all and also will serve for your reputation next one would be Microsoft Word. Now, Microsoft Word is um, a great tool for word processing. So, when we talk about Microsoft Word, it's actually the, the so-called rich text format, which lets you format your text uh, with adding a lot of fonts, with adding pictures. Again, you can add graphs and uh, you can play with the um, with the sizes and fonts and colors a lot of things that you can do and apart from that you can add paragraphs you can you can you can use different page sizes so if you're interested and you should be interested in becoming a good word processor then microsoft word is the one to go now i'm not a microsoft word guru and um However, I do have certain skills and experience of using Microsoft Word and I found it very, very handy. So what can you use Microsoft Word for? For basically anything. First of all, you can create material, you can create documents. If you're a document controller or if you're somebody who is expected to, uh, uh, to create uh, different documents, can be processes, can be translation or translated material. By utilizing Microsoft Word to its maximum, you can really lay out uh, very appealing, uh, catchy, and uh, a tidy CV. And it's also good for printing and creating PDFs, uh, because PDF is basically a printed image of any kind of document. It can be a Microsoft Word, Excel, or any other. It's also great uh, when you're using rich text format in your emails because you will find that the same functionality that you have in Microsoft Word is inherited by a lot of other systems, including emailing, and especially when it comes to Outlook. Talking of which, the, the next one would be Microsoft Outlook. Now, you know, you probably know Outlook as an emailing uh, tool. But Outlook, trust me, Outlook is much more than just managing your emails. First of all, it can help you uh, manage your day, manage your time with its uh, great calendar. And it can also help you manage your tasks. It can help you with priority management. You can prioritize your tasks using, uh, using the calendar, using the tools within Outlook. And uh, you, you can prioritize your emails. You can follow up. You can create follow-ups. And nowadays, a lot of add-ins uh, for Microsoft Outlook. It's uh, it's mostly um, integrated with, with a lot of unified communication tools like Skype for Business, like Cisco Jabber. It can be it can also be integrated with other things like you can integrate it with your Google Calendar if you have one or any other calendar. Um, so Microsoft Outlook, if used properly, is a wonderful organizer. I can tell you, you will find so many things in Microsoft Outlook that you will be amazed, you will be surprised that actually this one tool can do so many things. Of course, when it comes to emailing, where basically emails are, are an important part of communication and managing, uh, managing your tasks within most organizations and most companies out there. In, in some organizations, emailing can be the primary and sometimes even the, the major, the, the, like the, the most major uh, communication tool. Now, I'm, I'm thinking about making a separate video about communication management. Um, and if you're interested, please comment below and I will make another video for that uh, specifically. So the last but not the least is the typing skills. Now this is probably one of the oldest um, administrative or oldest office skills, hard skills that you will find out there. It has been existed ever since the typing machines, typewriters have existed. Now typing speed and typing accuracy are a great uh, form of written expression. Nowadays we do not 
just write, okay? So you might use a pen and a piece of paper for taking notes. However, typing can really speed up your day. So whatever you're thinking about, whatever you are trying to deliver in an email, in a Word, or even in, in a power, on a PowerPoint slide, having a good, accurate, and fast typing will help you um, speed up whatever you're doing. And uh, it, it, it will even boost your ability to express yourself in a written form. So that's it. You will find some links uh, down below in the, in the description of this video to, uh, to other videos on YouTube and some links that will help you start learning these tools that I just named in the video, like Excel, Word, some tutorials. And if you dig more, if, if, you, if you do a bit more Google search, you will find lots of material online that will help you start learning these tools from zero, from on any level. I can tell you that there was a time when I was staring at this A1 cell in Excel, trying to create um, a reporting tool. But what I ended up doing is I just used Google and YouTube and I uh, eventually I created a very sophisticated reporting tool with lots of formulae and with lots of automation which was basically adopted and used by the organization I, I work for. Thanks for watching. Um, comment below on what, what else you want to uh, hear about. Subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.